Hey everyone, welcome back. Well, I thought I'd do a quick little video here on this sprayer. And as you saw on a couple of my previous videos, I got all this here pulled out of it. This bar here was stuck inside. In fact, the, the short video that I that will, will be posted before this one here will show a little bit of that. Not much, but it'll show right after I got it pull, all pulled apart. But I've taken a wire wheel, cleaned it all up. I wish I could paint it. Thing is though, with this going inside of that, Paint, paint is literally li literally just going to scrape off. And so, like I said, I just took a wire wheel, clean it, cleaned it all up good, you can see. Got all that old rust off of it. And then the sleeve here, I took an air gun, stuck down to this end here, which comes out into this big notch. Blew all the junk out of it, all the old rusty crap. I took my wire wheel also and did the whole outside of this. I want to paint this. However, we've got some warm weather. In fact, I was actually I'm hoping to paint it today, but we've got warm weather coming through. It's kind of like it's it's really warmed up, and everything here inside the shed is wanting to sweat because stuff inside of here is a little cooler and so it's causing everything to sweat here i'll show you right quick well actually in fact i can even show you here on the sprayer you can see here on these tires see the water and so i can't paint on this stuff when it's damp it's got to dry so what i want to do is hang this back up underneath here because i've been trying to figure out a good way to hold this that way I can paint it and then pivot it up, put that back inside and reattach it right there in the middle where that bolt is hanging down. So let me take and put you into my official redneck camera holder. If that'll work. Also known as a rubber strap. <laughs> okay, I think that'll work. Grab my sledgehammer, and what I got to do is try to get everything all lined up and get that bushing through that hole right there with that hydraulic cylinder. In fact, let me grab a small pry bar. Now, I will tell you, there it is. This morning when I was working on this thing, I took this stop bolt out. I've explained about this here in my previous videos but um, regarding the sprayer. But you can put that bolt in there and it'll only let the tire go out so far and stop. Well, as you can see, it was pretty well rusted up. However, it was no problem for this bad boy to take out. So far, I love this big impact wrench. That thing's got some power to it. And I will say, just bumping on, uh, bumping the thing, if you have it onto a hard bolt, and if you don't have a good, if you don't have a, have a very good grip onto it, it'll, it'll want to jerk right out of your hand. So you gotta be careful. But if you hang on to it good and tight, no big deal. Okay, I think that's about as good as I'm going to be able to get able to get right now. We'll set that right there. No, in my luck, I'll go off and forget that thing in there, in there, and it'll get smashed. Well, let's see what this does. Also. I hope the light from my work lights over there doesn't mess up the camera too much. I guess we'll see. 
Hey, that went that actually jumped through there e through there easier than I thought. But see what I want to do, I can just leave that hang right there, paint it, let it dry, then swing it up, put the other half through, and then bolt it back in. However, for some reason, it jumped clear through, now it's getting kind of caught right there before it wants to pop out, of, out on this side of that um, yoke on that cylinder. through you can see it came out right there okay now I just need to find my bolt there we go And that's got a lock nut on the thing. So it's only going to go on so far. <clears throat> However, once I got looking at that, I think what actually caused that to f stick like that is I'm, I'm suspecting there's a leak up here somewhere and I'm going to have to find it. Hopefully, hopefully I can find it I'm not too sure how we well can see that up here. Oh, there we go. I'll get you dug back out of my pocket. I'm guessing there's a leak up in one of these up in here somewhere. On one of these band clamps. And I'm going to have to see if I can find it. And hopefully it'll show up when I, when I actually run water through this thing. And then if I can find it, I can make sure it's down good and tight and or may, may have to kind of separate it, adjust the O-ring inside, then re-tighten it. But I'm guessing that's what, can, that's what caused some, some of my problem. And so we'll put you back down here for right now. Like I say, I was hoping to take... and um, paint this thing. I'm trying to see. Now that part don't feel wet. Maybe it's because it, it adjusted to the outside temperature better. I'll just take and give it a little wipe down because of that wire wheel. Any kind of rust rusty dust and that kind of stuff on there go ahead and wipe it off all righty let's cut that But I can, like I, like I see on that piece right there, I had, I, I took the torch and had to heat up on both sides of this, and then I, I, I hooked a chain. Well, when this piece here was stuck in there, I hooked a chain on each end of it, and um, I used the bobcat for a dead weight, and I hooked the other chain onto this forklift. And literally pulled against the pulled against each other, and then heated up that outer housing, and then took big ten and twenty pound sledgehammers and whacked away on it to help jar it loose and 
it broke loose. I will say one thing, if you want a good workout, go to work swinging a 20 pound sledge. So that's got this right here. And you know what that, now that I get running, my, I get running my hands on that, it don't feel wet. I just might hit that with some primer. <clears throat> we'll go and jump top side here. There we go. I'll hit it with primer this evening and then finish it off with some black paint tomorrow. And then it'll basically be done. So this will be the last video I do on this part, on the, on the sprayer anyway. And then that bolt right there, I'll, I'll tighten that up last. I want to leave that loose. That way I can pivot this up like that put the piece in the, in the other end and then just swing it right up and connect it onto that bolt right there. Show you a little bit out the door right there. You can see we've had some rain again. Last year, we actually started planting on April 17th. It's obvious that's not going to happen this year. Now if I can get that dumb top popped off there. Oh boy. There we go. I just don't want to overspray and hit in there on that hydraulic motor, but it shouldn't really be too bad to. Yeah, there we go. Go ahead and hit it with a cooter primer. And it don't have to be perfect, I can tell you that much. <laughs> Just get a... Yeah, we're get, we got a few runs in it, but not too bad. The paint fumes are strong enough. Not much air movement. Well, I can help take care of that. I picked up this little fan here. No, I'm trying to remember. In fact, come to think, if, if you saw my one video on here that I took out in Beloit, Wisconsin, there at that uh, hydroelectric dam there on the Rock River, when I was out there, went to a little store out there, out there with those friends of mine. It's kind of like a scratch and dent type of, type of place. And sure enough, they had this little fan, fan there, brand new in the box. 
half price. So I, I, think, I, I think I only paid like 45 bucks for the thing. But it's a squirrel cage. And that right there is high, but you can see, you can tip it up and down and adjust your angle. And that right there is on high. And of course, just like a normal squirrel cage, they don't make much noise. But no, it's got a nice stream of air and I'm a good, oh, 15, oh, 15 to 20 feet away from it. And so that'll give a little ventilation. In fact, come to think of it, I need a way to hold that piece out. That way I can get to the other side. We'll stick that pry bar in that end. Now I can come down here on the bottom side of it and hit it. Okay, what do we got? What I'll probably do is primer this this evening, let it sit overnight, and then finish painting it tomorrow. Up, got overspray on the pry bar. No big deal there. We'll go ahead and hit this side. There we go. All right, I can't wait to hit that from a different angle back here. There we go. Well, that fan definitely helps. Okay, that's got that thing primered. And like I say, this will be the last video I do on this sprayer. But tomorrow, I'll paint that part all black. I wish I had some flat black. All I got is a gloss black, but hey, up underneath there, it's gonna get all filthy dirty, so you'll never know it. And most of it's gonna be hidden in behind this cylinder anyway, so big deal. But hey, that's the sprayer getting it put back together. So take care, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.